All right, cool. It worked today. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I don't know what browser is actually going to pop up. So, all right, news time. Um, this will be the news for what? What is the date? Where are we at? I haven't done the date for a while on the news. I wish I, I should just only have something that has like the date, um, somewhere on screen. But yeah. Uh, this is the news for uh, Friday the second of October. We're now in October, everyone. We made it. It's spooky season. Spooky season is upon us. <clears throat> kind of like colder weather. So do I. Better make sure I have some hard ones. <laughs> hey, Silver. How you going? Damn, oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa. I feel like Silver, like, if you ever became my mod, <laughs> that would be your, your little intro thing. Um, where I am right now is pretty hot. Max was like 35 to 40, uh, 80 degrees. Jesus. So I need to, I realize I need to, uh, I need to go and, hang on, I'm going to write down something. I've just thought of something. All right. All right. Well, so this one's a really big one for a lot of people like, say, like, um, Chris and Pixie and a few others that are do, uh, Jackbox streams. Um, I was, I'll probably get this either way. Like, I usually play these Jackboxes yearly with my friends, but, um, I'm going to make spooky art. Oogie boogie. Uh, but yeah, uh, Jackbox 7 got announced. We all predicted this, we knew this was coming. Um, October 15th, it's actually not too far away. So right in time for uh, sort of the Halloween season. Um, no point watching the trailer, it doesn't really impact. It doesn't have too many things, it barely shows the games. Um, but, yeah. Jackbox is never too expensive, it's usually a pretty good game to get. And it looks like it has some fun new games, some improvements to other ones, so. Hope you all are excited to see that. We probably will do some of that on stream when it comes out eventually. Um, but yeah. It was 43 degrees. What? Silver, what do you what do you mean? I just realized that Alex said it hit 35 degrees. Oh man, that's awful. 43 degrees. Ugh. That's like the peak heat in uh, my state. Like, ugh. That's awful. But yeah, um, moving on, we have uh, Monster Hunter Explorer shutting down after five years of service. Um, so Monster Hunter Explorer, I never played it, but um, if you, uh, this this one was like a sort of a weird game, but it had like a whole heap of variants that we never saw as well, um, and. Frost, Frostfang Baroth kind of looks like the one that was from this, so I wonder how much this game will inspire some deviants, uh, variants, sorry, in the future. But, um, yeah, it's ending. So that means that frees up another group of uh, Monster Hunter development team, and that's pretty cool in a way. Um, I do think that there is now two main teams, the ones that we'll be making for Switch games, and I think the ones that are making for PC and uh, PS4 and Xbox and close to our peak as well. We broke our previous couple of uh, record a couple of weeks back. Jeez. Silver. That just, it, I'm, yeah. Won't go into climate change stuff, but that certainly sounds like uh, we're on the road for some, some increasing weather for a while, for a well, forever. Forever as it stands. Um, all right. We broke the maximum here. It was 39 degrees, but 43. Yeah, that's crazy. 43 is st stupid hot. I like that you guys are all talking in Celsius. I do appreciate that. <laughs> hey, Jad the Bud. Do you think Monster Wanted World will have continued support? Uh, the Well, the final patch just came out, Jad. So we've had... Not only the base game, all of the post-game content came with that. That was about like two years of that. Then we had Iceborne come out and now we've had like uh, a year or so of that. Um, or is it two years? Uh, it's like a year. And then additionally to that, we've had, um, maybe it is two years. I don't know, I've lost track. But uh, we've got a lot of content. That game has a lot of content. I, I feel like we will get, rot we'll just get the rotating events. I doubt we'll get many changes. Um, the way Monster Hunter's worked in the past is basically they once they put all the content, it's out, it's out. So they will probably be focusing on Rise and whatever, if there is another more world-looking game, we'll probably see another one. Uh, that's what I would imagine. But um, 
Yeah. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's it's pretty for the par for them. But um Yeah. You haven't played Monster Hunter World? There is a shit ton of content to play, and I have a thousand hours in that game very comfortably. <laughs> and I know people with a lot more than me. Um alright. Xbox Series X previews uh uh reported Oh man, this is a weird title. Previews report shorter load times, 802 gigabytes of usable storage. Yeah, I, yeah, Jard, it's like, with World, it's funny because, um, uh, that, if you are only picking it up now, it might seem like there's not, like, oh, there's no crazy thing to do, like, not a lot, but it's like, there is a shit ton that got added over time, um, and all the fixes they did, but I don't know if they rebalance anything. I, I think that's one of the, the bigger questions is, Will they actually have a team doing like skeleton staff work? Um, but hard to say. Um, I mean, Fatalis just came out and he's wrecking everyone. And I wonder whether or not like people will see a nerf to him eventually. But I kind of doubt it. They've never done that in the past. I kind of don't feel like they'll do that now. But I think they will. If any bugs or anything weird stuff come up, they would totally fix those, I would imagine. Um, but yes, uh, for the Xbox Series X, I don't know if people have seen this, but there's some, uh, I saw some graphs, I saw some, um, playtest runs, um, holy shit, these numbers are insane. So we knew the new generation was going to be particularly powerful in terms of hardware talking to one another, having better just, like, SSDs and having, uh, better lines, um, but just as an example, if you've ever played Red Dead Redemption, you know how insane that game is to load. It basically halves the load time on Red Dead. Doesn't drop it, like, impossibly low. But Destiny load times were reduced from 1 minute, 43 seconds, from from 1 minute to 52 and 40, to 43 seconds. Um, so that halves its time again. Um, and uh, where's the other one? Oh, man, I wish I had that graph. The graph represented this information a bit better. Uh, sea of Thieves was 1 minute and 21 seconds to 20 seconds. Um, no, that is a that is a Microsoft one out of all the, those. Microsoft is the uh, Sea of Thieves one. Nintendo is wild. Did you go over that news yet? I haven't yet. I, if you're talking about the, the Smash stuff, I haven't talked about Smash yet. Um, but yeah, we will get to that. I think that's one of the last pieces because it literally just happened last night. But yeah, that's really good numbers. Um, I'm really excited for the next generation just to play all uh, this generation's games, to be honest, initially. So didn't really have that in the past. And nice, it's a nice thought. I like backwards compatibility. Um, cloud streaming has a larger carbon footprint than downloads and physical games. So I kind of had already had guessed that because I have worked in servers and things like that. Um, people, I think, underestimate how much taxing keeping up resources like this is. Um, so this is just something interesting for, I guess, people to keep an eye on as tech companies get bigger and servers become more do uh, like overloaded and all these services get introduced. Is This is something to keep an eye on because that can spiral out of control. But yeah. Uh, downloads might be the better thing to have. Uh, fun fact, I've never played any Smash game ever. Jeez, Silver. Do you not have any Nintendo consoles, or just, just not interested? Uh, Genshin Impact removes their controversial anti-cheat system. Um, so I didn't really know this because I haven't picked up Genshin Impact until now. Um, but I'm not kind of surprised just because of how China and, uh, like, say, Korea and stuff like that, they put weird uh, anti-cheat systems in. But this one apparently was like a service that ran outside of the application and ran post the application running. Um, and it sounds like they just straight up uh, removed it and uh, have adjusted it. So yeah, the anti-cheats program will immediately end once the client is closed and uninstalled or uninstalled. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, this is a bit of a concern. There already is issues with in terms of China and uh, information issues and things like that. But I don't think that was a malicious thing. I think this is just they kind of stuffed up, but we'll see. <clears throat> I've had most Nintendo consoles, so you just never got into Smash. Yeah, I think Smash is one of those things that you kind of have to have friends that are into that type of game. And if you're not into fighters per se, 
Like that, I think that kind of makes sense as well. I, I also, yeah, I, it's just one of those games that just might not gel with lots of people. But, Silver, so we'll get there. Smash is super fucking big. Smash is so insanely big, and I'll, I'll talk about that once I get to it. So, yeah. Um, oh, this is a weird article. There's a bigger article on this somewhere that I must have just grabbed. I've been grabbing, I grabbed all these ones. They, they're a bit lighter ones. So there's usually better, more detailed ones. But yeah, headlines sometimes are good enough for me to talk about, um, with the article just being sometimes support. Uh, EA Play will be added to Xbox Game Pass on November 10th. So if you were paying attention, EA seems to be wanting to redo something with uh, Origin and our EA Play is going to be dealt with and it looks like that they've had some sort of agreement with Xbox and Microsoft and it's going to be a part of the Game Pass. That's a good thing to say, see, because EA, I don't think, really runs very good systems. Um, I don't think they've got... Like, I had issues with them way back when. I pretty much haven't used Origin until I recently used Apex. So this might be a better alternative we might see it more integrated with the the windows system um with just xbox in general but yeah that's a thing to keep an eye out for if you've got the xbox game pass oh all right pokemon news i don't have to talk about this do i do i <laughs> so the trailer for uh pokemon sword and shield expansion pass 2 came out launches october 22 now, you guys probably know, I am not a fan of Sword and Shield. I think that game is a very hollow shell. I think it is a big old ripoff. And I think that the previous DLC was particularly egregious of that. The trailer for this, if you watched it, only goes for like, I think it was two minutes to five minutes. It was, it was very, 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 very short. And it didn't really show off stuff we didn't know. Uh, yeah. So you guys, if you're interested in Pokemon, fair enough. Go check out this trailer, see what you think. You might be interested in picking it up. Um, but there wasn't really anything that was interesting. More people were talking about this Pokemon special music video, which I might play. Oh no, I can't play it, I just realized. Okay, there's actually a second controversy, I'll talk to this. But, um, so they actually got a music video done for some fucking reason. That was longer than the trailer. Um, and it was a special music video with a really good animation team and Bump of Chicken um, did the music for it. It's really cool. Um, if I, I do suggest you could people, everyone go check out this music video. It's really good. Um, but uh, funny thing is, Bump of Chicken is a very big Japanese band. People got hit with copyright left, right and center. Entire videos of people reviewing this, uh, I guess DLC uh, video got taken down immediately <laughs> so uh i don't know we don't know if it's like nintendo had that entire plan but it seems a little dumb um i won't go through the details here but it's like it's pretty much the legendaries are back there's a few changes there's a few more gigantamaxes uh new galarians yeah it's, it's not enough that game has not got enough um yeah pokemon Oh yeah, this is this. So if you guys want to check this out, go check out this Bumper Chicken video. It's really, really fun. Um, I love their music, so that was cool to see. Um, oh, we already saw this. <clears throat> oh, okay. This one's a weird one. So, for Demon Souls and Dark Souls fans, or just Demon Souls fans, um, for when the PS5 and the remake comes out, we saw that there was going to be a digital deluxe. We didn't really know what it was going to do. We thought it might have reskin items um, or items that you get early. That's how it was in the past. Um, just a little, like, weird little bump ups. Um, seemingly, there is unique items or extra items that we have never seen before in the game. So, Demon Souls might be getting changed um, to include new stuff to maybe either balance out itemization or just overall balance of the game. Who knows? But um, yeah, now there's a situation where if you don't get the digital lux, you're going to miss out on some of these items. So um, yeah, so the items they have here is, we knew about this. This is the Reaper Scythe, which was a pre-order. But the, so there's one area and they have Reapers. Um, they're just a, it's an enemy you need to deal with. <laughs> and um, they have this Scythe. You could never get it from them. That was never a thing. Scythe became available in later Souls games, but... 
it was like a unique pre-order. I'm like, okay, well maybe you get it from one of the Reapers. Maybe they get an extra drop now. But now it's seemingly there's other items that we've never seen before and we couldn't get them, um, including Red Eye Armor, Voluntarian Royalty, Popite Shield, uh, a Ritual Blade, and then there's also these items down here. So these are souls that we can just get them. They're just consumables. Ring of Longevity. I don't recognize the name of that. Preserved Grains, Fluorescent Grains, Bear Bug Grains. Don't know what grains are. <laughs> Um, I think they might be the things that we use to enhance your weapon, maybe, but I don't know. I don't remember them being called grains. Um, large hardwood shard and moonlight shard. So these are these are two upgrade materials. So that's fine. They're just upgrade materials. Um, but yeah, some of these other ones, I don't know if we're going to be able to get them in game. If not, that will suck and I will have to upgrade to digital deluxe version if I don't get the normal one because... I will not want to miss out on those items, which, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. That's just, it's just one of those things that sometimes happens. If you're paying to almost win at the start of the game, it just sort of frustrates me or getting stuff that looks cool and might be usable, um, especially with Souls games where the items aren't necessarily tiered um, in terms of their strength. Um, there are some that obviously are, but each of them have their purpose and upgrading those items might actually be worth using in late game, um, but who knows. <clears throat> um, so I haven't watched this, but uh, God uh, Godfall uh, is having this cinematic because the PlayStation 5 uh, announcement time has come out, and uh, they just released a few bit, a few more extra pieces of info. So what is this? This is, this is a three-minute trailer. So how long are we doing? We, we haven't been going for too long. Let, let's check this out. I kind of want to watch this. Might be the background music. Let's check this out. So Godfall is the new Gearbox um, action RPG, looter, looter RPG. I don't know about the style in game, but Armor um, Wise is pretty fucking cool. Sold us a vision he never believed in. Oh. Video. Video plus. Am I? Am I still on the internet? What's going on? Don't know what happened there. Quality just dropped. He Ooh. would destroy us. He Don't know what's happening to the quality. There we go. We were warriors, but he turned us against each other. Okay, so it's actually. Oh, okay, so it's. Warring tribes, I didn't realize that. This is why you have PvP, I guess. I thought they were fighting monsters and stuff. And despite all the maneuvers and all Streams running okay? Yeah, that felt like the video just for a sec. I don't know what that was. It was going to be either me or him. Was it just two clans or something? <sighs> not very exciting. <laughs> we'll say this is this is not a very exciting cinematic. It feels very generic action. But they are showing off different weapon swaps, so I don't know if that's a thing in the game. I assume it must be. <laughs> Macros was the better warrior that day. <laughs> no gore there, just a. Uh kick him in the water he left me for dead but I survived Macros thinks the war is over but our fight has just begun okay <laughs> that wasn't the greatest cinematic I will say <laughs> but it it's stunningly visual wise it was stunning but I don't think it was the best directed. 
But yeah, Godfall, I'm excited for that. I probably will play that on stream when it comes out, um, when I get my PS5, but yeah. Got to watch a lecture, bud, for class. No prob. <laughs> um, all right. So yeah, where's the music? Uh, Nintendo reminds Switch owners to charge the console at least once every six months. Um, that's a little worrying, um, which I don't know what means for longevity. Um, but I don't know who's leave who hasn't played this Switch for like six months. But yeah, um, I pretty much keep mine on charge, but. It it means that you probably, if you are putting it into storage, might want to hard turn it off. Um, because if it's in sleep mode, it would probably just charge and may never charge on again. So that's that's a worrisome thing. I hope that's not just a weird fault that Nintendo just accepted um, over the years, because that's a good way to kill a console. Epic and Apple decline trial by jury. If you've been following the Epic and Apple uh, disputes uh, over the past two months, I think it's been now, um, about Fortnite and Epic not wanting Apple to have a monopoly and all that stuff, and they took them to court, and now there's like backlash stuff from Apple. Um, it just, it, it's ongoing, but the recent uh, d d decision by uh, a judge was to have trial by jury which means that it would be by public um, which seems a terrible idea because everyone has biases on uh, related to something like this but um, yeah both Epic and Apple are not happy about this decision it doesn't feel like it works but yeah imagine a battery that works for six months straight <laughs> and then if after that six months it just dies no uh, yeah that I think the battery thing's a little weird um, I think that's just how older batteries, uh, not older batteries, how batteries work in phones and stuff as well, like, but most of them are just constantly kept charged, so you won't see that issue, but discharge issues are a real problem. And for something this, like this Apple thing, um, I think it's, uh, I think this is just, it'll just play out. So we'll just keep an eye on this, basically. Um, Among Us drives record Discord installs. So I guess we've all heard and seen how big Among Us is, right? Among Us is big. Very big. Very insanely big. Bigger than, like, I think Fall Guys got. Um, and it was just bizarre. It was just out of nowhere. And uh, because it's mostly a speechless game, it has no built-in voice chat, gotta go somewhere. And Discord is the gaming voice chat program. And look at that crazy crazy lineups and it's like really cool so not only COVID but uh that also uh, has driven it so Discord's in a really good spot um I don't know if they're really making money and stuff but yeah your keyword works the same six months of standby is in your keyboard oh your your keyboard has battery oh okay yeah pretty cool you charge it every week though, yeah. Yeah, you kind of have to. Uh, this one's just a little weird piece of information because we never see Gurren Lagann anything. Like, Gurren Lagann really doesn't get extra stuff and it's so old in Legacy now, but uh, uh, Hardcore Mecha added DLC for Gurren Lagann, which kind of makes sense. Um, if you haven't seen how this game plays, um, it's pretty cool. A friend of mine kickstarted this one. It's just, it's like a side scroll, a little chibi uh, robo game. Um, indie was coming out. It was promoted in TGS. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So if you're a fan of Grim Wagen, maybe you should check out Engine Impact. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't know you could run as Simon. Oh, that's cool. Did I say my friend? Yeah, he 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 helped kickstart that. Um, so he's he's excited for this game. I'm not as big of a mecha fan as he is, but um, looks pretty good. The game has a lot of polish on it, a lot of love in it. Mecha fans, I think, will really enjoy that IP. <clears throat> oh. 
don't know what's happening in this one. Oh, here we go. Uh, CG, CD Projekt backtracks on anti-crunch comments uh, commitments ahead of the Cyberpunk launch. Uh, launch. So if you didn't see, um, there was news about uh, uh, two days ago, three days ago, talking about how Cyberpunk is needing to go into crunch mode to be able to make the release of Cyberpunk. However, they were a company that said that they will not be doing crunch for Cyberpunk, so the internet was in a bit of an outrage, justifiably so. Um, but apparently it was just, they've, they've talked about, they've walked it back now and it's not what they meant, apparently. Um, uh, yeah, I know this is in direct opposition what we've said about Crunch, it's also in direct opposition what I personally grew up to believe before, but uh, Crunch should never be in the answer. But we've extended all possible means of na navigating the situation. So, um, yeah, it's kind of this weird thing where they're saying that they can, they're going to try and avoid it, um, but insist the studio will be try to be reasonable with its demands and previously had a non-obligatory crunch policy, which means that their staff can walk away from work, but they will encourage it. So, yeah, um, <laughs> this is AAA at its finest in terms of they put themselves in a situation and how do they get out of it? I mean, that's a funny thing. I shouldn't say that. CD Projekt isn't a AAA company. They are a probably a double A company um, with big backing. But yeah, it's it's rough. Like, how, what are they supposed to do here? And the answer is delay the game. <laughs> they will lose money, but the answer will always be that. So yeah. Hey Al. Have a sip of water. I kind of need it. Most of the way through the news. It was actually a little bit more than I thought. How are you doing today, Al? Um. <clears throat> so, uh, moving on, we have uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons patch notes. So we, I talked about it previously. We got our uh, our update for Animal Crossing. Uh, New Horizons. I'll be playing that this week. Looking forward to it. Halloween, spooky times, pumpkins everywhere. Um, but uh, they actually have a few extra changes they made in terms of like just little bits and pieces. So you can add like dream code uh, favorites and um, being able to uh, hide items are not for sale. All this stuff. There's like there's just little things they've added, which is cool to see. You're wonderful. You're actually feeling great. Oh, that's awesome to hear. During, I think it was yesterday you weren't feeling too well, so that's good to hear, Al. Um, PlayStation Plus uh, free new games will be Need for Speed, Payback, and Vampire. I'm not too interested in either of those, but just a heads up for those who have those, and you should probably you can probably get them in the next two or three days. Usually they go up about on the fourth or fifth. <clears throat> Uh, Nintendo will leave Jump Rope Challenge on the eShop indefinitely. So I saw places reporting about this, that game is going down shortly. You should go grab it. But then Nintendo were like, mm, nah, we're just going to keep it up. Um, so I feel like Nintendo is trying to do less of these timed things. But we do have that Mario 35 thing now, so we'll see. You'll be in and out. You're practicing Smite. That's okay. Um, I will be starting a new game shortly anyway, so... Uh, again, another short one. Uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition has put a patch out. Now, these patches are interesting. Some of them seem bigger than others. Uh, boss sequences and merge drop acquisition events in multiplayer modes are now skippable. They're not shared. Um, and, uh, da -da -da. yeah, so <laughs> this is still stupid. So this is not enough. They need to do more. They need to fix a shit ton more. There's so much they need to do and they need to really get their ass in a gear, and I really hope that they do. So if you don't know, this game has released in such an appalling multiplayer state. It does not work. It literally got pulled from the Australian um, eShop because it's not a, that it's just something they can't sell because it doesn't work. Um, they didn't refund anyone or anything like that. So the suggestion is that they will be fixing this and they need to bring it back, but it might be some time, so. Um, I'm very scorned on this. I'm very upset with uh, Square Enix for letting this happen. But they are releasing patches, so 
who knows, maybe six months down the line I can finally play this game. Because um, I'm not playing it in single player because it's not meant to be played in single player. Um, just as simple as that. But yeah. Uh, next up, uh, speaking of uh, the short time to release game, we have Mario Bros. 35. So if you guys don't know what this game is, it's a battle royale with Mario. <laughs> So it's like Tetris 99, um, where you have 35 other players of playing Mario 1, and every time you kill an enemy, it appears on someone else's screen, um, and it's pretty much who can get through the game the best. Um, and it's only a temporary release. It's free for everyone who has the Nintendo uh, Plus, I believe. Uh, Nintendo Online. But yeah, Mario Tetris 99, pretty much, yeah. So I haven't played it. Maybe I'll play it on stream. I, you guys know I'm not the massive Mario platformer fan, but um, yeah, looks fun though. Curious how it goes. Genshin Impact becomes the biggest international launch of a Chinese game. I actually read this article yesterday. I think they actually meant a Chinese application. I don't know why they say game, but um, they compared it against TikTok. Um, that's crazy. That's so huge. Um, uh, this is why I keep talking about this is a big deal for China. Um, it's a big deal for China and the world. That's why I really want to play this game. There's so much about this that's an interesting prospect and seeing what it is. But there is still some caveats which um, I have encountered. There has been some stolen things that are in the game or ripped and I do know, I wonder whether or not they will get in trouble for some of that stuff. Um, but, yeah. Trying to be China. So we'll see. See what happens. Just to put it into contrast, there is a concept. Um, Final Fantasy VII Prelude seems to be in the game. Like it's just been remade in the game for some reason. Things like that. Um, and then there's all this stuff where people talk about how it's like it looks like Breath of the Wild and things like that. So, yeah. I just want this game to stand up its own because I want China to be able to prove that they make Chinese developers can make so many fantastic unique assets and things like that but on the game front they still there's so many things where it's just sort of like they just need polish they need to just figure it out <clears throat> Amnesia Rebirth gameplay so Amnesia Rebirth um, is uh, a horror game that's coming out Continuing the Amnesia universe, so not really my thing, but I didn't think I'd seen it announced really anywhere else until this, so um, yeah, if you guys are interested in horror games, particularly Amnesia, go check out this trailer. Uh, Apex Legends brings crossplay to PS4, Xbox One, and PC next week. Um, that's crazy. Uh, I play Apex on the PC. I can't imagine playing against console. Whenever you get this weird like console situation where uh, you're people playing with a controller against people with mouse and keyboards and shooters, it's a shit show. They get destroyed. Um, mouse and keyboard is always superior than um, controllers. Um, so I don't know how this is going to be balanced. It means more people to fight, which is really cool, but it, matchmaking... Um, Matchmaking isn't that hard right now, so I don't know. It depends on regions, I guess, but hey, I guess that's good. More people to fight, and also more people to just absolutely destroy. You like this song? You're also shaking your head. <laughs> yeah, I like this song too. Um, I think NCH uses this quite a lot in his animations. Yeah. This one bummed me out a little bit because I was excited. Um, so... <clears throat> Blizzard delays World of Warcraft Shadowlands expansion. This is a pretty big thing if that happened. I don't think an expansion's actually been delayed before. Um, um, originally it was planned to release on October 27th, 28th. Um, the expansion was originally slated for October 13th and will still be released as planned. Wait, what? Hang on, this is weirdly written. Okay, so it's already been delayed once and it looks like it's been delayed again. That's I think that's how it's sort of reading. And it, they haven't gotten an announcement date for the actual release now, so that's pretty bad. 
Considering we are in October, they have a month to get done whatever they're doing, and I don't know how much time they're going to add, but they, I, I feel like they don't really have much competition, that's the thing. I think Shadowlands coming out at certain times, as long as it doesn't come out in the late Novembers, early December, then they'd be pretty in trouble, but I think if they it comes out sort of November 12th, ish around that november time frame i think they'll be okay but again they will be competing against the con the new consoles they're not careful and that could hit their numbers pretty heavily so yeah we'll see um i'm excited for this expansion either way just to see what fresh a fresh take on the wow universe might be but who knows that last expansion was a shit show so this one could be too as well then we'll see it will WoW ever end? We don't know. It could just keep going on forever. And we are here. We're at the end of the news with the final big announcement that happened late last night. Um, Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC Character Reveal. So, um, I think we can watch the trailer together. So, let's watch it together, shall we? Let's grab this, pause the music. If you haven't seen this trailer, we'll watch it quickly together. It's not very long. Hey bear, how you going? Oh, that was exa a go exactly, yeah. True. So when I was watching this, my first re reaction was a third party. And there were third parties that like are pretty big companies. So my friends knew exactly when this mo that moment happened. I didn't click on it until this moment here. Can you tell who it is? Technically, it's an indie game. Eh, uh, not anymore. So it's been owned by Microsoft for like 10 years, so... Steve rocks the block. Again, Sakurai, I think him and his team are just fantastic with, like, adding personality to things and playing with it and stuff. Um, I will say that the hardest part about all of this was, and we never thought why me and my mates never thought this was coming, was this here. How does it, how do they get that working? Um, this is such a complicated character for a... Uh, this is a complicated character for, um... I guess... Smash. Like, it's it's so much going on. And me and my friends have theorycrafted what... How this will actually work in-game in terms of switching items and doing stuff. But it's, like, it's very strange. And, um... Kudos to the team for get it working. Um... I... I don't know. <laughs> Sakurai even sort of talked about it, that it was like, it was such a weird thing to people suggest because it is just so tough, but it has earned its right. I will say that. Um, I'm not particularly excited for this. I think this is a pretty boring pick, but I feel like it's one of those things that they, um, it's so big and, Beloved now that it earned its right into Smash just easily. It, whether or not it's a fit in Smash, I don't know. I don't know if I necessarily agree with this, but um, yeah, it's there now. I, people can stop talking about this. It's in Smash now. It's it's there. It's done. Um, as long as it doesn't break the game. Is Minecraft even on Switch? Um, a good question. I don't actually know. Is Minecraft craft on Switch? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. Um, it's pretty cheap too. 30 bucks. Um, yeah, that happened. You're playing it right now. <laughs> oh, wow, Redburn. 
So yeah, I uh, he didn't get an invitation because he is too big, like hero. I had to redo every stage. Yeah. Uh, okay, at least there's that connection. <laughs> I know that's the thing. So some ones, it sort of was a bit of a funny thing, like Metal Gear and stuff like that. But like, it's more just their identity, whether or not they've earned their right in terms of being a cultural phenomenon in the gaming industry, their impact on Japan. Sakurai's relation to them and whether or not the IP owners are more than willing to uh, be able to like work together to actually have it in the game um, but my, the reason why Minecraft was such a shock was how does he work like how the heck does this character work in terms of he is a character that rotates items he uh, rotates items he upgrades items, um, and yeah, it's insane in terms of like them going and doing it. And it's going to be showed off at Minecon. Yeah. So the other thing, Red Bun, is that there is Sakurai is going to be doing his. Was it next week? He's going to do a video. I don't know if it came up here. Um, Nintendo will host a Mr. Sakurai presents Alex and Steve stream, um, featuring more on October third. Um, so that is... Oh, that's tomorrow. I thought it was in a week, but yeah, it's tomorrow. So we'll learn more about this character tomorrow. I think them just dropping it, good idea. Um, now people have got that, and people who want to know more will tune in on the 3rd. So one of the big things about this is... Holy shit. This was such big news. This literally broke Twitter, I think. I might be wrong or I might be right, but if you were watching when this dropped, it as soon as this got announced... Twitter stopped working and the last few messages were people talking about basically talking about watching this so it may be related it might not be but two massive things happening here which was Minecraft and Smash announcement at the same time might have been too much for Twitter um, but yeah <laughs> this morning morning no one could tweet yeah oh well yeah exactly off topic how was the how were the hunts for the rest of the night um, not great, Bear. <laughs> uh, I'll say we got worse is probably what happened as we went. Um, but uh, I'll be doing more today. If you're if you're on today, Bear, um, I'm gonna do more with um. Uh, I think Prince is gonna jump on. Uh, I I can I can actually do most of the fight solo. Um, I've just I'm adjusting things and figuring stuff out. Um, but uh, as a group. We got to the third phase multiple times. We never got to the Dragonator. Um, I was watching Riku yesterday. Um, he got to the Dragonator a couple times. I don't know if he got it. He basically streamed like almost 24 hours trying to fight Fatalis. Um, and I think he, I don't know if he actually got it, but yeah, it, this is a hard fight. They've successfully made the hardest fight in world. Um, and I'm very excited for it uh, to get him down, so. Um, I've been theory crafting and doing a whole heap of stuff, doing my research and things. Um, so I'm going to return to it with a couple of new things I want to try out. Um, I want to try and have a bit of a solo attempt. I don't know if today. Whoa! Bear, thank you. I really appreciate it, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> beep beep. <laughs> thank you, Bear. Um, yeah, if, if you're up for hunts later today, man, um, I think me and Prince will be doing it. I will try and get a team of four, um, and then we'll just try and push at it again. Um, getting a consistent team and then refining the fight, I think is very important. Um, I've figured out a lot of shit about it. There's a lot to think about, but strategy-wise, once you, you do it, you've just got to do it. It's basically a fight you just need to overcome. You can't gimmick your way out of this one, so... Did you get him down yesterday? No, we didn't, CJ. Um, yeah. Uh, I think I think if, if it was... A couple of us were together, um, I think we might have been able to, but... Yeah. Alright. That's all the news for today. Um, I am a little bit later than I wanted to be on this one, because there was a lot of news for some reason this week. Um, again, that happens every now and then. But we didn't do the full hour. Um, so... We'll now move on to uh, Genshin Impact. I keep going to say Hokai Impact. Um, and 
uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the news. I will be back very shortly to set up that. And, uh, yeah. Thank you everyone for watching. I'll be back shortly. Steve!